jute. The natural fiber is highly sought after by Iran, but it grows thousands of kilometers away in Bangladesh. We call it golden fiber because this plant made us rich. Bangladesh is one of the largest producers of jute in the world. Once treated, the vegetable fiber is used for all sorts of purposes. Woven jute is used to carpet and pad the interiors of cars. It's also used to make bags and ropes. Last year, Bangladesh exported a billion dollars worth of the product, mostly to Iran. They use this jute fiber to weave the back of their famous Persian rugs. Except since economic sanctions have hit Iran, jute exports from Bangladesh have dropped. But in February, the United States blacklisted Iran's banking sector, which means transactions with all Iranian banks, including its central bank, are restricted. As a result, jute exporters in Bangladesh have not been paid for their shipments, and orders are being cancelled. The Jute Exporters Association says they've lost hundreds of millions of dollars because of it. I know plenty of people who have shipped to Iran, and they are caught in this embargo, and their money has been tied up over there. And, and, and government is also trying, but they are unable to do anything. And they're, they're questioned, that, why did you ship to Iran? I said, look, I'm an exporter. We don't, we don't care which country we're shipping. As long as they get the, get the money and everything, it's okay. Some Iranian traders are taking advantage of these sanctions by trying to import jute illegally. Bangladeshi exporters fear that will only boost the black market and reduce the price of raw jute. The farmers will be affected, the traders will be affected, and we, the manufacturers, will be the most affected. Even the shipping lines will be also, be, also, also be affected. This is the whole cross-section of people will be affected. Exports of jute are already down by 13%. It's not just orders from Iran that have slowed down, but orders from Egypt, Syria and Libya too have gone down. Add to that the global economic slowdown, and the future looks bleak for this industry. So Bangladeshi exporters are looking for new markets. They say 40 million people, mostly farmers, depend directly or indirectly on the export of this fiber, and they have the most to lose from these sanctions. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Norshindi, Bangladesh.